There is a shocking twist in the Earnhardt family feud regarding the number eight trademark, paving the way for Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s acquisition. Let's find out the surprising developments and what it means for the future of number eight. The history of the number eight is closely tied to Dale Earnhardt Inc. on DEI, a racing team founded by the legendary Dale Earnhardt Sr. in 1980. DEI initially fielded three cars in the Bush series, including the number 15, number 8, and number 1. Following the tragic death of Dale Sr. during the 2001 Daytona 500, ownership of DEI was transferred to his third wife, Teresa Earnhardt. In recent years, Teresa has made decisions regarding the trademarks associated with DEI. She released the number 15 trademark a few years ago, but chose to maintain control over the number 8 and number 1. However, with the June 3rd deadline approaching, Dale Jr. Holdings took proactive steps to secure the number 8 trademark, submitting an application on May 14th, nearly a month before the expiration date. While Teresa ultimately decided to renew the number 1 trademark, she did not take action to retain the number 8. This decision has paved the way for Dale Jr. to potentially acquire the rights to the number he made famous during his time at DEI. Dale Jr. has been open about his feelings regarding the number 8 trademark, emphasizing his desire for it to remain within the Earnhardt family. He has expressed that he would be comfortable and happy if Teresa were to reacquire the trademark herself, demonstrating his primary concern is keeping the number 8 connected to the Earnhardt legacy. Dale has confirmed his intention to acquire the trademark for the iconic number 8, following the decision of his stepmother, Teresa Earnhardt, not to renew the trademark by the June 3rd deadline. Along with his sister, Kelly, Dale Jr. has expressed a strong interest in securing ownership of the number 8 trademark, which holds significant importance to the Earnhardt family and NASCAR fans alike. He stated, I either want Teresa to have it and if she were to come in and re-up, I'd be totally comfortable and happy about that or I would like to have it. I would love it to stay either hers or mine and not end up somewhere else. The retired NASCAR legend emphasized keeping the iconic numbers ownership within the family boundaries. I have a lot of trust in her. The number eight holds a special place in Dale Jr.'s heart as it was the number he drove during his tenure with DEI from 1999 to 2007. Behind the wheel of the number eight Chevrolet, he achieved numerous milestones, including his emotional victory at the 2004 Daytona 500, a win at the 2003 Budweiser shootout, and an impressive four consecutive victories at Talladega Super Speedway from 2001 to 2003. Despite the challenges and tensions that have arisen between Dale Jr. and his stepmother over the years, he has consistently expressed his trust in Teresa's ability to protect the Earnhardt family legacy. He acknowledges her business acumen and believes she makes fair decisions when it comes to matters of trademarks and the family name. Dale Jr. said, she's very smart, very savvy, always thinking, she takes emotion out of business decisions and says, this is what's fair, this is what's right. And so in terms of this, I would be completely fine if she reacquired the trademark. Dale Jr. has made it clear that his intentions for the number eight trademark are rooted in a desire to celebrate and preserve the family's racing heritage, while he has no plans for a large-scale merchandising effort. Dale Earnhardt Jr. also cleared up rumors about a vintage line of gear. He added, I would not be interested in spamming the NASCAR ecosystem with vintage Retro 8 gear," said Earnhardt. I know that there are fans that would like to have some things, so maybe would do a small batch of select one shirt, one hat, just figure out something sort of nice and tasteful. Furthermore, Dale Jr. has expressed interest in potentially utilizing the number 8 in various racing contexts, such as the Cars Tour or even the Xfinity Series, pending approval from his JR Motorsports co-owners. His primary goal is to reactivate the number 8 and see it back on the track, ensuring that it remains a vital part of the Earnhardt racing legacy. Despite the challenges and complexities that have arisen in Dale Jr.'s relationship with his stepmother, Teresa Earnhardt, he has consistently expressed his trust in her ability to protect and preserve the Earnhardt family legacy. Dale Jr. recognizes Teresa's business acumen and believes that she makes fair and thoughtful decisions when it comes to matters concerning the family's racing heritage. 
This trust extends to Teresa's handling of trademarks and intellectual property related to the Earnhardt name and the iconic car numbers associated with the family's racing success. While there have been instances of tension between Dale Jr. and Teresa, particularly regarding the ownership and control of DEI, Dale Jr. has maintained his confidence in his stepmother's judgment and her commitment to upholding the Earnhardt legacy in a manner that is both respectful and equitable. The Earnhardt family feud, particularly between Dale Earnhardt Jr. and his stepmother, Teresa Earnhardt, has been a well-known and ongoing issue for years. The roots of this conflict can be traced back to the aftermath of Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s tragic death during the 2001 Daytona 500. In the wake of this devastating loss, confusion and tension began to mount within Dale Earnhardt Inc.'s DEI, the racing organization founded by the late Earnhardt Sr. As the widow of Dale Sr., Teresa Earnhardt assumed control over DEI, a move that led to increasing friction between her and Dale Jr. Over time, it became apparent that Teresa was exerting her authority over the organization in a manner that left Dale Jr. feeling increasingly shut out and marginalized. This dynamic ultimately reached a breaking point in 2007, when Dale Jr. made the difficult decision to depart from DEI and join Hendrick Motorsports, seeking greater control over his racing career and legacy. However, recent developments suggest that the long-standing feud may finally be approaching a resolution. A significant turning point occurred when Teresa Earnhardt chose not to renew the trademark for the number 8, allowing the rights to lapse. This decision opened the door for Dale Jr. to take steps to acquire ownership of the number 8 trademark, a move that he and his sister Kelly have actively pursued. As Dale Jr. moves forward with his efforts to secure the number 8 trademark, it remains to be seen how this new chapter in the Earnhardt family story will unfold. The prospect of Dale Jr. regaining control over the iconic number he once drove holds significant symbolic value, both for him personally and for the countless fans who associate the number 8 with his remarkable achievements on the racetrack. While the scars of the Earnhardt family feud may never fully heal, the recent developments surrounding the number 8 trademark suggest a potential path forward, one that prioritizes the preservation of the family's racing legacy and the celebration of the indelible mark left by both Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Dale Earnhardt Jr. on the world of NASCAR. At the heart of Dale Jr.'s plans for the number 8 trademark is a desire to activate the number and ensure its continued presence on the racetrack. By doing so, he aims to honor the legacy of his father, Dale Earnhardt Sr., and the indelible mark the number 8 has left on the sport of NASCAR. Teresa Earnhardt's choice not to renew the number 8 trademark represents a significant moment in the Earnhardt family's history. This decision may indicate a shift in the family dynamic, potentially paving the way for a new era of understanding and cooperation between Teresa and her stepson, Dale Earnhardt Jr. The resolution of the number 8 trademark issue may also serve as a catalyst for healing the long-standing rift between Dale Jr. and Teresa. By allowing the trademark to lapse and thereby opening the door for Dale Jr. to acquire it, Teresa has demonstrated a willingness to prioritize the family's racing legacy over past conflicts. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to NASCAR Today for more videos like this.